Hey guys, this is Dr. JT MD General Medicine and a rheumatology resident and a part-time YouTuber and I welcome you to my channel Dr. JTM and we all know that NEET PG exam is just few days away and all we need to do is revise and that revision should be so precise that means we need to target specific topics in a specific way. So when the second question comes like this, a 26 year old female presents with 6 weeks of fever, fatigue, weight loss, rectal urgency, tenismus and bloody diarrhea. Examination shows abdominal tenderness is present and lab values anemia again elevated. Yes sir. Here they have given colonoscopy features, reveals pseudopolyps and submucosal inflammation and with biopsy showing cryptic abscesses but no non cacheting granulomas so this itself the colonoscopy features itself will be giving you the clear picture what is the diagnosis here apart from the inflammatory nature that is present that is anemia and also elevated esr and the patient clearly having tenismus with bloody diarrhea and probably the colon part of the intestine is being affected that's why this patient is having bloody diarrhea with the tenismus and also the patients having a pseudo poly with submucosal inflammation a classical picture of ulcerative colitis but that is not enough for us. We need to go into a new pattern thinking with the new way of asking MCQs. What can be asked from this ulcerative colitis? Let us look into the new way and the new pattern of MCQs. So ulcerative colitis, the treatment part when it comes to the 5 ASA, misalamine, sulfasalazine, belsalazine, but in India, sulfasalazine is being commonly used. So remember one drug or if the option has all but none, remember these three. And corticosteroids, in flares and also in severe diseases, obviously like the Crohn's disease itself. And for maintenance purpose exactly like the same like the Crohn's disease we are going with azathioprine and also 6 mercaptopurine in the advanced therapies the biologicals the latest updates drugs are present here carefully look into it TNF alpha inhibitors like golimumab is the being latest drug that is being used in ulcerative qualities apart from that the routine drugs adalimumab and infliximab uh, um, adalimumab has more uh, good uh, outcome when it, uh, when it comes to uh, comparison between adalimumab and also infliximab in the latest according to the latest guidelines and apart from that we can also go for ustakinumab vedolizumab as well and jack inhibitors like tofacitinib and opadacinib and this uh, uh, tofacitinib is the one that is being uh, asked and there is a high probability in the NEED-PG also recently it has been asked in the NEED SS for severe and refractory ulcerative colitis what is the surgery that can be done this is an MCQ that is being asked in the surgery total proctocolectomy with either ileoanal anastomosis or end ileostomy simple and the complication is most commonly the colon cancer will be the most common complication apart from it there is toxic megacolon also and when it comes to the power revision what is ulcerative colitis it is a continuous inflammation of the colon starting from the rectum anal sparing will be present when it comes to the uh, Crohn's disease as the entire bowel from mouth to anus only rectal part is spare here anal part is spare and this ileocecal valve in, up to the ileocecal valve involvement is most consistent feature of ulcerative colitis and associated with primary sclerizing cholangitis this is also one of the extra intestinal manifestation that is more common with is the MCQ that is being asked so remember that way and colonoscopy features of ulcerative colitis we have already seen the polyp presentation and submucosal inflammation and the uh, uh, immediately when you find those features we have to go for colon cancer screening and those patients with primary sclerosis and cholangitis will have high propensity of developing colon cancer uh, in association with IBD and also a possibility of gallbladder cancer and otherwise uh, benign colon cancer screening eight years after the diagnosis and then repeat the screening every one to two years so and GI symptoms can worsen during pregnancy there are a lot of diseases like SLE rheumatoid arthritis these kind of uh, diseases will be uh, will be subsided or on the sublime uh, position uh, when during the pregnancy but this is one condition where um, uh, ulcerative colitis will be flaring up during the pregnancy and ulcerative colitis patients will have the lowest fertility rates and that is it for today today's topic is also very very important definite question will be coming I hope you have all liked it if you have liked it please uh, please please subscribe to the channel and if you have any any uh, you know, inputs that you wanted something like this or something that way or something this way all the opinions are accepted please do comment down and let me know how well you are liking this kind of approach uh, towards uh, the revision part when it comes to the revision part for NEET PG and I'll be back with third episode tomorrow see you all again this is Dr. JT signing off